Oh my god, her body is unbelievable. I wish I was as skinny as her. I wish I was perfect. I hope she shows up. I hope I look all good. What is she looking at? Are they laughing at my clothes? I have got to do something about my eyebrows. My skin looks so bad, I'm breaking out again. This is so embarrassing. So when I think of a stereotypical Kiwi male, I think of the classic kind of like Kiwi summery bloke. Someone like in jandals and bordies and t-shirts. I feel like females have a harder time than guys. They have a lot more expected of them compared to us. Well, I think the expect expectations are constantly changing. At this moment in time, defined eyebrows and contouring is really big. But in terms of body, I think that skinny yet curvy. Staying skinny. Big bum. Big hips. Big boobs. Big chests. Tan skin. But um, these bodily traits are the most harmful, I think, because usually people have no control over them, unless um, cosmetic surgery is involved. Whenever I'm on like Instagram or YouTube, Facebook or even Tumblr, I'm constantly being confronted with images of celebrities or even my friends that clearly show what expectations are for females to look like. And just this constant bombarding of images, it has a huge effect on your subconscious, which makes it really hard for you to not perform. I feel like the media portray people such as Dan Carter, who advertises for Jockey, as the ideal kind of Kiwi man, or like an expectation that Kiwi men should live up to. Obviously not everyone can be an athlete, they don't take into account other skills such as the arts and they don't have any performing artists as advocates for their clothing brands. I think males like are affected by society's expectations, just by like the body image. You have to go to the gym, you have to be fit, you have to have the six pack, you have to have the muscles like to get the girl. It's like if you don't have this, like no girl's ever gonna like you, or no girl's ever gonna like look at you. I feel affected in the way of mostly, mostly body shape. I feel like um, that's that's what I feel most affected with, needing the six pack and stuff. And definitely has affected, you know. Like I want to go to gym and stuff all the time, you know. Everyone is different. Everyone has their own body shape. Everyone looks different. I wear makeup because I enjoy doing it, and it makes me feel confident, just in like personally. I just think it's real, like really badly portrayed in media how someone has to be look a certain way or be a certain image or have a certain like style about them to fit into society. People don't need to be looked at like that as like a label. If I want to be someone or be a type of person, I'll be it. Um, I don't really want to resort to the mainstream of anything. I don't want to have to wear certain clothes because that's what most kids are wearing or the cool thing. You know, I, I sort of just want to be myself. Media's expectations of the way that I'm supposed to look affects me even when I'm just getting ready in the morning. When I'm getting dressed and I catch a glimpse of what my body looks like or when I'm putting on my makeup, sometimes I do have thoughts like, oh, I wish I was a bit skinnier here or maybe a bit bigger here and, you know, didn't have a pimple today or something like that. But at the end of the day, I always feel far more happier and far more good about life when I accept what I have and when I realize that I'm beautiful because I am me rather than... I'm not beautiful because I don't have what they have.